Our next caller is Ruth from Washington. Hey, what's up, Ruth? How can we help you? Hey there, guys. Really happy to be here. Thanks so much for taking my email. Um, So I originally wrote my email because I have about 20 pounds left to lose and I really want to do it through weightlifting alone, but I just can't seem to find the right mix. So a little bit of background about me. And I feel like my story can be extrapolated to many people, uh, particularly women, but men probably too. Um, So I'm 39 five, nine, uh, originally gone to fitness through cardio, a uh, surprise, surprise, did a very uncomfortable marathon at one point, um, eventually found a really high cardio dance fitness class and ended up instructing that for a number of years. Um, and then at the end of that, I kind of got, uh, through that time, I lost a lot of weight, um, after my last baby who is now eight. Um, And at the end, I kind of started dabbling into weightlifting, felt like I loved it, uh, just felt really good in my body, started with some five by five. And um, I really wasn't able to sustain all of that with my teaching. And I was in grad school at the time. So I had to kind of focus on the cardio with my uh, classes that I was teaching at that time. Long story short, um, I graduated from school, started a full-time job as a nurse practitioner, and um, ever since that time, I kind of gradually increased my weight a little bit, um, but I started uh, strength training regularly about three years ago. So I'm kind of in this place where I'm wanting to lose these last 15, 20 pounds, having a difficult time, um, and time is very precious. I have three school-age kids uh, plus a full-time job, which is one reason why I love weightlifting because it is um, so efficient and um, I know my body was made to do it. Um, My problem is when I reduce cardio, I seem to have a a harder time losing weight consistently. Like I really want to just do the weightlifting because it feels the best in my body. Um, I've tried various calorie macro setups. I've tried various kind of programming. I'm currently in phase three of MAPS and anabolic right now and um, really liking it, kind of staying around the same weight. Um, I am tracking. We can get in the details of that if you're really interested. Um, I listened to your podcast about why women should bulk and I was like, yes, I am on board. So um, after a spot check and realizing I wasn't eating very much, I I did increase my calories and did that for about three months. I got up to 1800 or so and felt um, actually my workouts were feeling fantastic as you'd expect by increasing calories and um, was doing pretty well with that. But realized after three months I had gained some fat along with that, which um, I wasn't really a fan of. So um, I'm kind of in this place where I really want to bulk and increase my calories, but I can't seem to do it without cardio at the same time. So I'm really curious, um, trying to figure out that optimal dose for me. I think a lot of other people probably are in the same situation. So I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, Yeah, this is really common. Mm -hmm. This This was Katrina when Katrina and I met. This was, uh, she was strength training like three times a week, running three to four times a week. Her way of kind of maintaining her weight or getting in shape would be to ramp up her runs and just run more. And she was probably eating about 1800 calories or so. And by the way, okay, so she's, well, maintains like better shape today at 40 years old than she did in her 20s, only strength training and not running and consuming over 2600 calories. So it's very much so doable. Uh, And I think you were heading on the right track or at least in the right direction. And maybe what happened when you put on, maybe you put on a little extra body fat that you didn't like, or maybe it wasn't that bad at all. And you were more in your head and then you decided to reverse back down because if you are only eating 1800 calories and you're exercising this much, we need to, what we need to do is speed your metabolism up before you get to a place where you can completely cut out cardio and stay at a place that's sustainable with just weight training. It's just your your calories are too low for all the activity that you're currently doing. And that's why you're feeling that anytime you cut out cardio, which is probably burning, you know, a few hundred extra calories every day that you're doing it. Uh, is making a difference. That's a big difference yeah. when you're only eating 1800 calories. And it says it says in your question, you're, you're running or doing spin for your cardio? Yeah, um, I have been, I just started spinning again a little bit. I haven't been running recently. I'm dealing with some kind of SI joint stuff. So running is no bueno for me. Um, I've been doing mostly walking right now, actually, and just kind of started to add in spin back in um, about 30 minutes, maybe one or twice. Yeah, there's, twice there's, a week. there's nothing necessarily wrong with cardio, but for what you're saying, you know, you don't want to do it. You'd rather weight train, plus you're trying to speed up the metabolism. 
I would stay away from the spin. Walking's fine. It's, it's healthy for you. But here's something else you can do, okay, because I've done this with clients. All right, we're going to cut the cardio to get the metabolism speed up, but we want to kind of burn more calories in our workouts to, to kind of help a little bit with what might happen initially. You can add volume to your resistance training. You've been following MAPS Anabolic. I would go MAPS Aesthetic. It's a very similar program with more volume. You're going to burn more calories in the workout. It's still a muscle building program. And then I would cut the cardio out. I mean, you do the you do MAPS mm -hmm. Aesthetic, three foundational workouts a week with two focus sessions. That's a decent workload. You don't need to throw any cardio in. And then slowly reverse diet. Get your, get your calories up. 1,800 is not really a good place to start from if you want to try and burn, you know, lose weight. I'd like to see you get up to, you know, 2,500 calories at least. And so I, love I that. <laughs> yeah, so do that. I mean, focus on the muscle building, right? Maps aesthetic. You can cut the cardio if you want to keep walking because you enjoy it and it's good for your health. That's totally fine. Don't do the spin classes. That's probably the worst for what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and now you're doing more volume in your workouts, right? So now you're lifting more weights, which does burn more calories as well, but it's still geared towards building muscle. How long, honestly, uh, were you able to keep in the bulk in terms of like being able to, uh, you know, stay there for a few months? Uh, you know, like how, how long was it? So I was doing another program, um, a hypertrophy based, hypertrophy based program through Girls, Girls Gone Strong. They have some pretty good programs, too. Um, I love your guys's trying um, different things. It was about three months that I, that I tried that. Um, I wasn't tracking my food the whole time. So 1800 is probably about where I was at, which to me felt like a lot of food coming from where I was at previously. Yeah. Here's, yeah. A, here's a strategy. If, you, if you're not one to want to count and track everything, just track your protein. So try and hit your protein targets and then avoid heavily processed foods and just eat until you're satisfied. This does not mean eat until you're stuffed or really full, but rather until you're satisfied. So focus on protein, whole natural foods, and then train to build strength and then kind of allow your body to do what it's going to do. That usually moves people in the right direction. Now, if you want to get more specific, I would definitely track. For some people though, tracking is, it, it makes it worse or it makes it a stress or they right. feel like, oh, I don't want to you know, have to I count would, everything. I would also be interested too. So the the program that you were running, the one that you said was hypertrophy focused, uh, I'd be curious to actually see the programming if that means it's more 10 to 15 rep ranges, supersets, and kind of focused in that direction where you're probably chasing the pump more um, versus like a five by five type of protocol. It was actually a mix um, of, it was similar to your guys's. There was four weeks of a kind of um, strength okay. focus. And then, and then there was kind of a, um, a higher rep uh, focus at the end. So, cause was, I, yeah. cause you're going to, you're going to benefit the most from a, you know, strength focus five by five type of a routine for, for bulking, right? When you're trying to bulk, um, that's when I would, I would love to see you. And then we would, I mean, we just talked, we just talked to another person had a similar question. I would just interrupt the bulk every third week or so third or fourth week with a one week, uh, mm -hmm. calorie deficit. So run the bulk for three weeks straight after the three weeks, then, then drop your calories two or 300 calories lower than what you would consider maintenance. So if maintenance is 1800 for you. Uh, one week out of the month, run a 1600 calorie week. And then the other three weeks, uh, stay in more of a bulk. Uh, and that will probably help keep you from putting on uh, much body fat at all on, on the way up. And then the goal is every time you go back to the bulk is trying to increase the calories a little bit higher and higher until we can get you a place where you're more like 25, 2600 calories. Uh, that that is a, a more sustainable place to be calorie wise to be able to never do cardio and get yourself lean because then if you can get if we can get your maintenance at 2600 and you say to me hey adam i want to lean out a little bit it's coming up on summertime or whatever i like to drop a few pounds of body fat we can easily without doing any cardio go from 2600 down to 2000 and your body's going to yeah. lean out real nice and you're still eating a sustainable amount of calories versus if you're at 1800 as a maintenance with doing cardio 
if all of a sudden you want to lean out, you got to drop. Yeah, you got to drop to a place that's just not. Yeah, you got to get down to 1,200 calories. Yeah. yeah, you'll eat more than you are now if you do this right and get lean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it is possible. It yeah. is, I mean, it seems like very daunting, but like to to kind of stretch it out, you know, even further and and do it very gradually is is my best uh, advice. Yeah, Maps Aesthetic. Follow Maps Aesthetic. Cut out the cardio. You've got plenty of volume in Maps Aesthetic. You're working out five days a week. And, you know, follow what we're saying with the nutrition and watch it creep back, watch it slowly creep up and be patient. Allow that to happen. Uh, when you get to a good place, you, you do the cut, it'll feel, you'll feel better than you do now. Ruth, are you in our forum yet? Um, I am not. Okay. So I'll have Doug give you access to our forum too. So you can kind of check in with us. I love when we give people kind of prescriptive stuff to do as far as diet goes to kind of just check back with us in a month and just let us know kind of your progress and where we're going. We can help guide you better that way. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. No problem. Yeah. The, the Taking someone who's done a lot of cardio and then telling them reverse, cut the cardio out. It's like they'll do it for a little while and yeah. then, ah, got to go back to well, what I know, you know. Yeah. Especially when your background is in like spin and running yeah. and, you know, and you love that kind of stuff. It's really hard to go against the grain. Well, it's a, it's a mind fuck. And this, she's in a very similar situation. Katrina was, I actually wouldn't let Katrina weigh herself during this time. Yeah. So, so it mess with her head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So as I, I, yeah. I knew the inevitable is going to happen. I cut your cardio. I tell her to stop running, you know, 10, 15 miles a week. I completely cut that out. All focus on strength training I, and and increase your calories. I know I'm going to put some weight on her a little bit and weight mm -hmm. that she may not like. So the last thing I need is her looking at the scale and seeing three pounds. It's not for, working. Yeah, yeah. Right, you don't know what yeah. you're talking about. So I was like, okay, part of the rules are don't look at the scale. Just trust the process. Let me do this with you. And then it, you know, it took a while to get her there, but we got her to a place where she can eat 2,600 well, plus calories. Because otherwise, you're just in this sort of manual place where you have to always kind of shave that down by adding this little bit of like excess movement and cardio and so you're going to be in this trap of always trying to like you know shave off the fat build try and build muscle not quite effective yet but then shave the fat mm -hmm. and it's just like you're spinning your tires well dude 1800 calories she's working out five days a week yeah including spin including working out like not sustainable. Yeah. You're just not going to be able to maintain that. Yeah, because uh, you, when you think about that, her 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 resting metabolic rate is much lower, much lower. So if you well, yeah, you're doing, she's active. Yeah, if you're doing all that work to maintain at 18, that means if she wasn't doing any of that, she couldn't eat much more than 12 or 1300 calories without yeah, putting body fat exactly. on, which is not a good place. You want to be able to be at There's a place no flexibility there, right? Where if she ate 1800 with no activity, her body would actually lose. If that's the case, we need to be somewhere up in the 2500 plus type of range metabolism wise in order for that to happen. Totally.